Thank you for tuning in to this National Crokinole Association semifinal action from the February Frosty Flick held in Chatham, Ontario. In this great matchup, you will see Josh Cariafello facing off against veteran Ray Beerling. Ray was the higher seed after the afternoon round robin, so he gets first hammer in this race to nine semifinal. Josh first to act with an open 20. Ray goes just a little long. Josh did not get the takeout, but at least he has a shooter on and he did not leave Ray Beerling with a fantastic setup here. Ray is, uh, as I mentioned, a very experienced player and he is taking his time to assess his options. Look like he's gonna try to maybe do a touch off his own disc and drop back into the 20. It might be there, but that's a very, very risky shot. No, nope, he's uh, decided against that. It is, it is quite a tricky setup. I'm wondering if he's gonna try to take the, yeah. Going for the black takeout as well as a ricochet off the peg, which he got, but not the 20 he was looking for. Josh Carriafello makes him pay for leaving that just a little too close to the center hole. Ray, once again, just a little bit off on that open 20 attempt. Josh Carriafello against the hammer, but in, uh, in pretty good shape with two 20s to zero. Players having a chuckle as Ray Beerling is left with yet another very tricky setup here. It looks like he's gonna try to jam off the black disc and kick over in for a 20. Oh, valiant attempt just a little bit off on the angle. Carriafello is going to want to remove some red discs. Yes, he is up two 20s, but uh, definitely got rid of one. And we'll see what he's left Beerling. We'll see what, uh, maybe we'll get the bird's eye view here. There it is. Beerling's gonna try to get the clear and direct one of those red discs into the center. Ooh, he got the double takeout. Double takeout, three on, so Carriafello not out of trouble here yet. This gets tricky to not give his opponent a, a 20 when you start banging that many red discs around in the middle. Beerling may be forced to try to go through his own in the middle drop a 20 and have uh, have the disc that's already on the board slide over and touch that black. It uh, It's a risky shot, high risk, high reward. And even if he achieves it, Carriafello's still in pretty good shape in this round. Mm, he did make contact, no 20. Carriafello getting in better and better shape as the players have less and less shooters left. Ray Beerling not left with much, but a uh, going for the old Peggy Sue. Off the disc, off the peg, and back in for a 20. His own disc may run a little interference on that. Caught a couple of pegs, good action. Carriafello needs the clear to secure this round. Yep, now even if Beerling can get the off and a 20, that will still be uh, not enough to overcome that 220 deficit. See this great take out 20 by Josh Carriafello. Nice double takeout by Ray Beerling. Starting round two, Ray Beerling first act. Taking a second to reset. Oh, this time online just came up a little short and probably just a bit too close. Carry a fellow likely to make him pay. He did, he got the off and the 20, fantastic shot. Now Beerling finds his range. Players settle in now, getting dialed into the speed of this board. Ooh, I spoke too soon. Ray Beerling come up quite short. Bad news is he didn't get a 20. The good news is he didn't really give Carry a fellow much of a chance there, but the hole is getting a little bit deeper at this point as Beerling is down two 20s against the hammer. Carry a fellow with two discs on, 220 advantage. We are reaching the point of uh, mathematically impossible for Ray. Carriafello wisely just touches. He knew he was not going to get the red disc removed from the board. Whew. Again with a nice double takeout. Even if he had secured the 20, it'd be too little too late. Carriafello making his last shot valid. Goes up four to zero in this race to nine.
Great shot by Carrie Fellow there to get that takeout 20. So close for Beerling. Very great attempt. Carrie Fellow first to act. Little heavy on that one. It lips out. See if Ray is able to take advantage of this early, just slight advantage to this round because he has the hammer. Getting away from that 20s race is definitely in Beerling's favor. Oh, perfect angle, just a little bit heavy on that, and it popped back out. We'll see if Ray goes for the 20, or I think he was trying to roll away and just didn't uh, hit it a little too flush. Carry Fellow with the takeout 20. Again, Beerling just a titch off with those open 20s. Nice takeout and pull back by Carry Fellow. You see Ray uh, expressing a little bit of frustration there, mock frustration, but still, uh, still, uh, yeah, did not like what le what Carry Fellow left him, <laughs> and he really didn't like that. <laughs> Josh hangs his head as if to say, yeah, that's not what I was going for. But uh, I thought he might go for the double takeout there, but he uh, secures the single takeout. He's still in great shape. 220 advantage. Beerling's definitely going to be going for the takeout 20 on this. Oh, so close again. Beerling taking the high risk shot. Oh, lovely. I'd love to see the overhead view of that as he snuck past his own disc, got the takeout. All right, Beerling with a chance to secure a point here, only down 120. See, he needs the off and the 20. It is there, but a tough shot to make. Good angle, just a little off on the power. <laughs> as we see the highlight of... Uh, Gary Fellow's uh, creative 20. Oh, and there's the, oops, I didn't mean to do that look. All right, my editor's fired. He did not show us Beerling's beautiful bounce back 20. That's it. Garrett, we need to talk. Gary Fellow did not get the takeout he was looking for, but he's still pretty happy with the result. And Beerling is not happy with the result. Ah. Beerling probably would have preferred that uh, Gary Fellow had gotten the takeout. Let's see if he goes for Gusto here. Goes for a drop back off his own disc 20. Did make contact, valid shot, but did not get the 20 he was looking for. Carry Fellow with the hammer, likely to be content to just play to the outside. We'll see if Beerling, Beerling does peel, forcing Carry Fellow to come back to the middle. Otherwise, Carry Fellow would just would have uh, kept play on his. Oh, he was reaching for that one. Would have just kept play on his own side of the board. Beerling going for the follow through now. Ooh. Catchphrase of the match is Beerling just a tiniest bit off. Again, Carriafello makes him pay. That was a heavy hanger, but Carriafello was able to convert it. Beerling leaves him another hanger. Ooh. Just a little bit off. It was Carriafello's chance to be just a little bit off on that one. Beerling is going to be looking to for an off and a 20. He's going to need to incorporate a peg, I would think, or yeah, maybe not. Maybe the way he's lining up, he's just going to go for a, a follow through, a bit of a follow through slash drift 20 off of this. Carry <laughs> fellow content to pull play back on his side just a little bit. Even Beerling, not much. The frustrating part is even if Beerling was able to make a fantastic 20, all Josh would have to do to win the round would be make a valid shot with his final with his final shot of the round. Yeah, that's the second shot of the match that got us started. <laughs> second shot of the round, I mean, that got things started into a not fun situation for Beerling. Beerling with his back to the wall now. At least he's got hammer in this match with Carrie Fellow with an eight to nothing advantage. Ooh, efficient as that just gently glide, glides its way in. Carry Fellow first to miss this time, leaving Beerling an opportunity here. That's a fairly friendly looking hanger, not a gimme, but he should be able to convert, and he does. 
Carry a follow right back to business, draining another open 20. They are tied. Well, they were tied. Beerling now up one, back and forth. But this is definitely Beerling with the hammer has the advantage to this point. If you're going to miss, as we like to say, he is on the right side of the hole. Kerry Fellow will be likely going for a follow through 20, which he is quite good at. Mm. I think his face says it all. Beerling with a nice take out 20. Securing at least a point. All he needs is a valid shot. There he goes. Ray Beerling is on the board, eight to two. So we see a couple nice takeout 20s by Ray Beerling. Beerling first to act in this next round. Coming up just a little bit short, probably close enough to carry a fellow is going to be able to convert that into a 20. Gets the 20, not the off. But that's not terrible. We'll see what Beerling wants to do. He's definitely going to want a 20 and to get his disc moved away a little bit. Whether he's going to be better off to do that with a little bump and run or uh, a touch coming up the opposite side. Looks like he's opting for the bump and run. That should effectively pull his disc back a little bit from that center hole. Although being tied in the 20, we're definitely back to a carry a fellow advantage at this point. Carry Fellow rolls play to Beerling's side of the board. We'll see what looks like Ray's going to go for it right now. Go for this 20. Oh, just a tiny bit off. That was so close. Josh able to pull that back a little bit, but he's still leaving Beerling a little bit of life here to... Oh, and that was all he needed. Money shot. The challenging part for Beerling is that all Cariofello needs is a tie in this round. With the race to nine, even if they tie this round, that will conclude the match. Right now, players back to their open 20s. Two shots left each. Ah, Beerling first to miss. Advantage Cariofello at this point. Oh, what a shot. What a roll away. That was so well done. That is one of the most underrated shots in the game. When you're able to take the opponent out from that close to the center hole and roll far enough out that your opponent is left scratching their head saying, what am I supposed to do with that? Rolling out to the 10 is nice. Rolling out to the 5 is just, it's its rude. It's, it's crokinole rude is what that is. <laughs> it's my way of saying nice shot, Josh Carey, fellow. Ah, uh, Beerling had to go for it. 10 to 2. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to watch a couple of highlights. I believe this match was most clo much closer than the score would indicate. Mr. Beerling is a fantastic player who just had a couple of tough breaks here. No disrespect to carry a fellow because that man is on fire of late. Thank you again for tuning in and please come back to us and watch the other semifinal action that is coming your way. Make it a great day.